Getting ready to go live with my mock. Trying to get this next phase done with the short columns, maybe. And then the steps. And then all the next phase will be like the, the structure for the roof, like the sidewalls and then the roof. I haven't decided yet 100% how I'm gonna do the window thing in the back, but we'll get to that. So me and Mrs. Hive. So me and Mrs. Hive, let me, let me talk in proper English. So Mrs. Hive and I uh, decided to get a few more bags of wood pellets um because yeah the temperature dropped and it's been cold again so we just and we ran out of wood pellets so we were like well we better get like maybe like five bags and see if that'll take care of us for this little cold spell that we're gonna have for a few days and uh i guess they're over here somewhere okay got something new for the mandalorian collection Got some Django. I used to have Django, but I'm pretty sure I sold them a while back. It's nice to get another one, especially since I'm trying to collect all the Mandalorians. I got a pretty good collection so far. Let me show you. So yeah, I've been kind of adding them in this case as I've been going along. The only one I don't have up there right now that I kind of have is now Django that I got to put in there and Gar Saxon, which uh, I'm not sure about Gar Saxon. I, I sold my first one. Yeah, got one left. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet because I do really want to keep that Gar Saxon, but I don't know. I can tell you one thing, I'm not gonna, if I end up selling Gar Saxon, I'm gonna be selling this whole set. Okay. Take a wild guess. Just in this city section right here alone, um, because what did I say? There was about 250, 300 or so. Somewhere between 250 and 300 down this whole strip. Yeah, I mean, definitely going to need a few hundred more probably at least. But get in there. Get in there. All right. Getting ready to ship that out here real soon. Thank you, members. I appreciate you. That was uh, the member giveaway for the end of the month uh, for Good Morning Brick World. I see a lot of, a lot of dudes driving big-ass trucks. They look all pretty and shiny and clean. I'm like, man, what'd you get that truck for, dude? Like, you ain't using that for anything that you should be using a truck for. Yeah. I'm trying not to be so judgmental, man, but I just, I just see a lot of these dudes, man, driving, like I said, driving these big trucks. I'm like, why are you driving such a big truck, man? Like, we live in the city. What do you got this big ass four wheeler truck for? Good news, UCS uh, X-Wing came in a little sooner than I thought also. Bad news, all the other stuff that, you know, the gift of purchases and I got two of the boxes for the um, Disney CMFs are nowhere to be found. The tracking doesn't know where it is, like a website doesn't know where it is. So I sent them an email and I wanna see how fast they respond to the email and figure out where, where my stuff is at. Well, here's a little update. I got my email back from Lego. I haven't replied back to it yet, but basically this is what they said. They said that I already got my package with all the gift with purchases and stuff, and my X-Wing would be here on May the 10th. So either they got something wrong. So here's my question for you guys. Let's say that it's true what she says, and they're sending me another X-Wing instead of all my gift with purchases. I feel like this is a dumb question, but is it better just to have another X-Wing and then I could sell it or hold on to it for a while or whatever, um, or get the gift of purchases? Cause look, I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna lie, dude. I don't really give a shit about the fucking coin. And the Death Star is cool, but I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know if I'd keep that. I'd probably sell that too. So I'm not really worried too much about the gift of purchases. I feel like it'd be better just to have another X-Wing. So yeah, going to work. Look who I run into. Here, let me stop. Let me stop, Doc. Let me, you know. God, he takes a sweet ass time, dude. That duck walks slow. That duck, duck's walking so slow, I swear he was almost walking backwards. Dude, look at all the stickers on that car. God damn. That's a lot of stickers. All right, so today is a pretty busy day. Got a lot of stuff going on. So. Right now I'm heading to the post office and I'm grabbing me a coffee. Uh, it is 
Greg, you know, from London Bitch Bricks. Uh, it is his and I's uh, channel's four year anniversary. So every year we do an anniversary stream together. So that's going on. Plus it's Mrs. Hives and I wedding anniversary. So tonight we uh, have dinner reservations at the place where we got married. So that's gonna be really awesome. They got really good food too. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the post office to pick up a package that Pink Wills has sent, sent me. Uh, she sent me like a care package to help out with my mock. And I can't even express enough thanks. Because at first she was just going to send me some of the window panels. If you watched my last uh, hive stream where I was building on the mock, uh, we were talking about how I was just going ahead and put windows in there. And a couple people were going to send them to me, but Pink Wheels said she was going to. But then she asked me if I needed any other pieces. And I was like, well, I mean, I do need these other pieces, but, you know, you don't have to send them to me. But, yeah, dude, she was... She was insistent that she sent it to me and she said just, you know, pass the kindness along. So, yeah, big shout out to Pink Wheels, man. Yeah, that was really awesome. So, all right, let's get this day rolling. Okay, so it is Mrs. Hive and I's sixth wedding anniversary. But we've been together for So yeah, we are going to uh, eat at the place where we got married, which is called the Rusty Scupper. I know it sounds kind of like a silly name, but it's a really fancy restaurant, and you can have events there, which is, again, why we have the uh, wedding there. But it's really nice, so we're heading there right now, and gonna have some good food. Cheers. I'm going to try an espresso for the first time. It looks very strong. Mrs. Hive is getting a creme brulee. Mrs. Hive is driving us home. Um, went to the retina specialist because you know I'm a diabetic and I don't take good enough care of myself, so I gotta go there. But at least that is a good thing uh, as far as like the news that they gave me. Visits are going further and further apart, so I won't have another visit for six months. So that's good. So yeah, they put this dye in me and it like opens up. Oh no, the dye doesn't do that. The drops that they give me open up my pupils. So they're open up so wide that I can't really even barely at all. I can kind of crack my eyes open a little bit, but it just, everything's too damn bright. And I wasn't smart enough to bring my, I wanted to curse. <laughs> my, my fracking sunglasses, like why? Because I thought these, these are transitional lenses. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm good. But you know, been in the car for like 10 minutes now. Do they look like they've transitioned? It's freaking ridiculous, man. Now, which stop, which is the stop button, which is the pause button? Update time. So, they didn't send me another X Wing. They actually sent me the gift of purchases I didn't get. Uh, so, yeah. Don't really care about that, so I'll probably end up just selling that. 
Here's my two Disney CMF uh, boxes, so we'll open those in just a minute. Got the uh, Death Star, which I haven't made a final decision on yet, because I only have one, so I don't know for sure if I'm gonna just sell this or keep it. I know I'm gonna hold on to it for a while and kind of sit on it and just think about what I wanna do, if I do wanna keep it or just end up selling it, so we'll see. Uh, let's see, there's that X-Wing poly bag. I mean, that's that's cool. I'll probably just, you know, do a giveaway for members, I mean, for subscribers. This, I'm very excited about. The uh, new VIP pack. Ah. Yeah, there's a little bunny rabbit. There's a whole bunch of cool pieces in here. So, I just really enjoy these packs because they just, there's so many things in here that go great in the city. I guess uh, let's get these open and see which figures I got. There's two six packs here, so did we get any duplicates? Let's find out. Okay, got the scissors here. Let's see what we got going on. All right, first one is, oh, uh, the Lion King, but not the Lion King, the Lion King from uh, the Robin Hood cartoon movie from years ago. So we'll put that together later. And there's Robin Hood. Awesome, okay. Oh, it's, uh, what was his name, Oswald? Or just absolutely wonderful. Um, oh, the, the guitar guy, the guitar ghost. Which one was this? Oh, the other uh, one from that movie. And look, I, f I forgot this one came with a dog too. Oh, focus. There we go. Dude, look at that dog, that's crazy. Nice. What do we got, what do we got? Uh oh, I feel like this is a duplicate, hold on. Oh no, it's not, it's Cruella de Vil. And oh my gosh, look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness it's not a duplicate. It's Pocahontas! All right, which one was this? Uh, oh, the Wicked Witch. Nice. Oh my God. Oh, thank goodness this was one of the ones I really wanted, Stitch. What we got, what we got, what we got? Um, oh, Jiminy Cricket! Jiminy Cricket! Alright, awesome. This Pinocchio. Man, and I didn't even know that. I had no idea that they were doing a, a, a nose mold like that. That's hot. Alright, last one. Oh my goodness, come on now. Yes, yes, the one I really, really wanted too was Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey. Oh, that is wonderful. Man, that is great. I am so happy there is no duplicates in any of those two boxes. These figs are great. I mean, seriously. Man, that stitch. That stitch might be the best one, man. That is a really good CMF. Man. I gotta tell you, I can't remember this guy's name. I'd have to look it up, but... Dude, look at that guitar. Are you kidding me right now? Amazing. So the mock is coming along good. I'm, I'm, there are some things I wish I, w I could do differently or I would have done differently or I could do better. But overall, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's kind of an odd shape. I, I really didn't know what I was gonna do about like the wall transition and, and the ceiling. And I'm not gonna make, so I'm gonna extend the ceiling a little bit more probably out to here. I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be too covered because I wanted to make sure as you're standing up, you could still see in here good enough. But overall, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really happy with it. I gotta get, I gotta get some of these trans red uh, bricks, plates, you know, so that way, you know, shine really nice, put that light on. And uh, probably the last thing we're gonna do is get the background picture that I'll put behind here so you can see Mustafar behind it. You know, give it that um, perception of distance. Yeah, good stuff. How many guys does it take us to go to a restaurant? Ha <laughs> ha, five guys. <laughs>